Ah, Tommy Shanks here. Hello. 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 Don't get me up Oh my here. God, Rick is my daughter. She's working hard. She's doing her no, homework I'm and everything stuck. else. <laughs> now she's stuck in the video. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Anyway, she's the one that does all the, no. the good stuff for me anyway. So anyways, um, you know, I've been noticing the hosting lately. I, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos on fish. And the funny thing is, is I think a while ago I said I was sorry. I, I apologize for something. And I've noticed lately a lot of people are apologizing for things. And uh, that's a good thing. Because you know what? Sometimes people, you know, take advantage. They sit there watching, they expect you to watch your videos. And you know what? Sometimes you gotta apologize if there's a mistake, right? Um, you're looking at my cichlid tank. I did the uh, little water change today. They're all hungry. You can see them just feed me, feed me, feed me. Come on. Anyways, guess what? It's gone. Boom. I took it out. Oops. I took the big, huge log out. Remember I had that big piece of driftwood in there that was really cool looking? Well, the problem was it took a lot of the area of the tank up for swimming and tannin. Holy smoke. I was doing water changes every four days. Complete water changes. 100% water changes to get it to, to look clean. And, uh, and plus also my fish have more places to swim and argue and fight. Now a lot of these fish are going to be gone. I'm donating them. I'm giving away probably uh, I'm probably going to give about 15 of these away to uh, a guy who's got a 400 gallon tank where something happened and he lost them all. So I said I'll supply him with the fish for free. And then uh, down here, the plants are still working. I can't believe they're still alive. Um, look at all the little guys. They're doing really wonderful. They're growing. These guys were little specks. And you can see, I have all different types of cichlids in here. Now, I'm not a cichlid lover, but I'm becoming a cichlid lover. Uh, I just love fish. But uh, these are all mine, like, you know, given to me from babies and we brought them up, right? And uh, some are mine for my, my guys. And look at the yellow, right? But I'm surprised the plants are still alive. Because there's no, all it is is this, uh, I don't know what they call that stuff. Or it's not gravel, it's uh, regonite, re regonite or something like that anyways. So yeah, they're doing really good. But yeah, up here, I took the log out. I took a couple of big rocks. I took two big rocks from out of here and I put them up here as you can see. Big rock, big rock. Now, these are fake plants in here because they won't, there would be nothing left of them. Now, Oh boy, now, um, you know what's funny? I just thought, I, I, my thought came, oh yeah, backgrounds. <sighs> I, 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 I looked at backgrounds, the cost of a background, I could buy about three tanks. They're ridiculous, the prices, right? And plus on top of, when you're looking at my tanks, they're all real rocks. I don't want the fake rocks. I don't want easy guys, come on. I don't want fake rocks, I want real rocks. I'd like to have real plants in here, but with cichlids, you can't have them, right? And same in here, I'd like to have real plants in here. I've tried it, it don't work, so I bought. I put these ones in for color. So, and they're doing good. And in this one here, well, I'll show you that. I've got to, uh, I'm putting the, head, the big light on there. I got on my big tank here, right? I've got a few, but you know what? When you have these monsters, they just eat everything. I put in some plants, they were gone. So, this is uh, my other one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to re I'm going to redesign it. I think I'm going to put more bigger rocks in it. Make maybe a mountain of these, like. So they have caves in it. I like the cave thing. I got into that. But uh, yeah, these guys, they don't really need to eat. They're full, but I, I feed them every day. I mean, I don't feed them till 10.30. 
But if you notice, there's no fighting, no dead fish lying around. They're all doing a good job. Now, I finally caught one. I was doing the water change, and I got one of these guys. I got one of these guys. They went into the, uh, the vacuum cleaner part. You know, you're sucking it up. And uh, so I got one, and I put them over in the... Uh, in that tank over there, because it was getting a lot of algae. Well, guess what? There's no more algae in the rocks. <laughs> These guys are workhorses. So if you got algae problems, get those suckers. They'll clean it up for you. And the shark's doing great. He'll never leave. Um, oh, yeah, what did you name the shark? Salem. Yeah, I call him Sharky, but his real name is Salem. My daughter named him Salem. Right? Now I do have my real plants right here, and it's going crazy. So this is my my planted tank, <laughs> and we put you know it, it it has everything in it. And I, I did a tiny bit of trimming, but I really don't want to do too much trimming. And it's you know, and the angels got a place to hide and do what they do. Unfortunately, I got snails. They came in. I don't know how. I didn't bring them in. But they got here. I think uh, we had a UFO or something. And they dropped them in there just to bug me. But eventually they'll be gone. You can see. It's like a little jungle. In here. And then we got these guys over here. My baby's over here. And they're doing wonderful. Whoa, I changed the color. Oh, they went crazy. Do you see? I guess you got that on a film, eh? What happened? <laughs> I'll bring it back to white. There. This one drives me crazy. They don't like the red. But they'll come out in a second. Um, I like this tank. Uh, it's got lots of caves we built. Me and Jeff. Jeff actually did most. I think Jeff did this tank over. Right, so he's doing well. He should be here later on today. Anyways, yeah. So, yeah, I was noticing that uh, back to the beginning where a lot of people are saying they're sorry. Well, you know what? When you've been a YouTube, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a beginner, so I guess when you've been doing this for a long time, and 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 you, you know, you start not doing what you're supposed to do, just giving up. I guess you should say sorry to you guys. Me, I love you guys. You guys have all been good to me, and uh, and that makes me happy, right? So these guys are really good, and they're getting big. I'm gonna have to make. Oh, come on. Do you see them? Watch, I'll take, I'll, I'll, you want to see them go crazy? I just put my hand up here. Look, I put my hand up here. Look, they'll all come up because you know, I just, they hear the noise. It's, oh boy, feeding time. I'm not feeding you till later. But they scoot. Now, can you imagine if I had Oh, say a three or four hundred gallon tank. Man, imagine a, a, a tank ten feet long with these guys. The scooping, the just the, the school of fish you'd have, right? Just tap the glass, they move. So I'll be giving some of these away to the same, that big tank, the four hundred gallon. But yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to say hi and uh, showed you that I got rid of the driftwood. I changed my tanks around quite a bit. One thing about me, I get bored quick. And so, you know, and when you're when you're doing um, water changes, cleaning everything up, right? Well, if I'm doing a water change, why not just jump in and, and clean everything up? Right, so I'm rechange it. But you've seen my tank. You've seen a lot of you has been here since day one, and so you've seen when I be the beginning. 
and and how things have changed and it's just gonna get better all right I'm, i got more i got oh by the way i got another 50 fish babies coming up now too so they're getting bigger i'll, I'll do a video on that when i'm transferring them over to one of these tanks over here again but i'm definitely gonna have to get one big tank i'm gonna have to figure out do i get rid of the uh the one in front of you, the 220 here, 240, and put a, maybe a 400 gallon here or 500 gallon here. So I take this one out and I put a 500 gallon. I'll let you think about it. So when you're looking in, so when you're coming in, you see from the front entrance, you come in, you see that, you come across here you see that oh yeah by the way I'm putting another 90 gallon on the bottom so there will be another 90 gallon uh, aquarium going there so they match up but can you imagine if I take this out and I put in a 600 gallon tank here so we'd have a 600 gallon then I'd have the uh, the 110s on each all the 110s and the th 290s let me know what you think. 600 gallon, 400 gallon, and, uh, and see where we go from there. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye for now.